Hey guys, this is Austin uh, from Genesis 3D Printing. Wanted to create another video to provide some product updates that I've been making to the designs um, that I've previously been 3D printing for guys and also some new product that I've um, recently started printing and designing for guys. So we'll dive right into it. The biggest update that I have to share with you is this now is being, um, you can now use this with a one inch strap. So this slot design here, you'd slide your strap through there and you can kind of see the at the bottom, there's a little cutout there that allows it so the strap doesn't want to come back out. So it would just slide down and get stuck in there. So if this ever does slide up, your strap won't come out. So that's probably the biggest update that I've made to allow you to be able to use this as a one inch strap, which is up here. Uh, the tethered cyst strap and then also the paracord. So but previous design could be used with a cyst strap or the paracord. This new design allows you to use um, also the one inch strap. So that's probably the biggest update. Another thing is I also 3D printed some words on the back here in the design that says this is a bow hanger, not a step. That's just to protect myself from uh, anybody that may use this and think, oh, this is a step that I can use to climb a tree. This will break um, if you try to put your weight on it and you will not really enjoy the results with that. So do not step on this. Do not use this as a climbing method. This is just a bow hanger. That's all it's supposed to be used for. Um, so yeah, those are the big updates that I've made. Um, new product. So this top one is probably the the newest thing that I've made. This is the newest thing, not the probably. This is the newest thing. So this is the the hanger that's up there. So you can kind of see it's a one piece print. It doesn't have the arm that swivels up and down. There's no stainless steel dowel pin in there, which makes it um, super easy to print. I'm able to offer this at a cheaper price. This one is designed to allow those bow hangers to hang their bow from their cams. So you see there's enough room there if you wanted to use a bow that has two cams on it. So you can kind of see Hold this one up that's kind of what it'll look like on a tree um, if you're going to hang your bow from the cam so again this is an easy print easier print for me to do this one i'm able to offer it at 13 dollars 50 so it is the cheapest option i offer um, so then the next one down here is probably the bread and butter of all the 3d printed hangers that i've been selling and making this is just a standard bow hanger that you can hang from your limb so this is on the paracord this is kind of a close-up again that of that hanger and then i'll show you what it looks like with the bow on it so you can kind of see there's enough room for those guys that have this double limb system like i do on my gearhead bow um, sorry for all the snow michigan uh decided to drop a few inches of snow on us tonight so this is a great design for guys who prefer to hang their bow from their limb i offer that for twenty dollars um for a single bow hanger and then this last one over here you can kind of tell it's a little bit longer this is designed for guys that like to leave their quiver on their bow. So here's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. You can tell there's a few more inches on the end. This allows those guys to not have to take the quiver off. And then you can kind of see with this bow hanging on there, there's plenty of room here. And I'll take my hand off it so you can kind of see. But there's plenty of room for a quiver to hang there with it. So, yeah, so that's kind of the updates that I've made and some of the new product. One of the questions that somebody has asked me is how do you get it into the cyst strap? So I'll kind of demonstrate that real quick um, before I get into some new stuff that I'm working on. So it's hard to really tell how this goes in, but the best way to um, do this is before you put your strap on your tree, if you know your preset amount, so this one, you always will know that this will be available for your bow hanger. So you could do one or two. So I'll do it on this strap right here. So you'll basically take your bow hanger slide it through the strap hole and then you'll just kind of pivot this up through it like that and you kind of see the strap kind of now comes out on this side just like that and then you'll just slide the hanger up I'm trying to think of the best way to display this but that's probably the best way to do it um i prefer just to leave it on the strap and hang it um, swivel it up like that that way i can pack it in don't have to worry about hanging it in the strap again and I can throw it in my backpack. Um, if you are a guy that prefers to not have this on the strap, to have less clutter or whatever it may be, if you're going to hang this when you get out to your set and you climb up to the tree, so I'll demonstrate that. It's very critical um, that you have enough slack in the, in the system to allow you to fit it in there. So if I tighten this all the way down, it's kind of hard to see but this back strap wall is super tight right there. So when you try to slide the hanger in there, the there's not enough slack or give in that back wall or that back um, strap on the cyst strap to allow the hanger to fit in there comfortably. So 
what you need to do is you need to put your hang your strap up and just you don't need to loosen it up to the point where it's going to fall down the tree just enough where you can feel this slack in it and then you can slide this in just like this so that has been something that some people have reached out to me and says how the heck do you get this thing in there so the best way to do it i prefer is to do it before you get to the tree but if you prefer to do it at the tree you need to have some slack in there to get this on so then you can slide it up sorry my hands are getting a little cold in this michigan weather you slide it down just like that and i usually push it down just like that kind of wedge it down in there that's that's the best way to get it snug in there and then you can hang your bow from it and that's it so new product stuff um some guys that have been reaching out to me about new stuff that they would like to hang from their tree on their gear hanger um so down south apparently there's there's bugs till out up here in michigan as you can tell there's no bugs um so nothing this idea did not come from me and originally this came from somebody that that was down in i believe georgia if i could design something to hang a thermocell from so that's something i've been working on designing and getting 3d printed um still working through the design phase on that one so stay tuned for that um, other things that people have been asking for um are can I hang a hang a bow for my tethered? Can you provide an option for that? So I'm still working through the concept of that. Um, so not really sure how how that's gonna attach to the tether. What's the best way to give it, um, put it in the right spot for the hunter? So this is design. This design was thought of. Hey, can I not have to carry a gear strap in? Can I just use my existing tether to hang my gear from? So I don't have to worry about taking more stuff into the woods. So. You know, in saddle hunting, you just think of the minimalist stuff that you can bring. Um, another thing that I really have been putting a lot of effort into in designing, I have my first prototype here, um, still working through. This is kind of the first mock-up of this, and you kind of tell, and I'll explain it. This will basically slide into your molly webbing on your saddle, and it'll hang from your hip. So that allows you, when it's on your hip, you could hang your bow. Now, show you once you have an arrow knocked you can hang your bow like this from your hip and that way you can keep your bow at ready if you wanted to if you had a deer come you could hang it from your hip and then be ready to make the make the shop happen so not really sure how that's going to work out yet um still working through the testing that but i did want to share that with you guys to get your feedback on that um and whatnot so yeah i would love to hear your guys's feedback on this video if you have any other questions um if you have any other ideas that you would like to see 3D printed uh, that can be used as a gear hanger or just anything in general for hunting, I'd love to hear what you got. So uh, thank you for listening and um, excited for what the future holds. Thanks, guys.